It's been a crazy summer. You know, you come here July 1, uh, and basically all you deal with is COVID. You, you're dealing with testing, you're dealing with protocol, you're dealing with cleaning, you're doing all the things you have to do. And to actually watch our teams act, act there uh, on the fields and have an opportunity to compete was incredible. Uh, first one I got to see was cross country. Uh, first of all, I didn't realize the RMAC took cross country the way they did. It was an incredible event. Uh, just to watch them out there and watch those kids run and, have, and just smile and have fun. So, you know, it's been a long, a long time here and it's you know we've been going through so much but to actually see us being able to compete is, is incredible and it's really not about the wins and losses right now it's just about engagement getting our kids out there getting them active and so I, I, I can't be more happy and more pleased with with the efforts and I cannot be more happy and pleased with our student athletes for staying safe you know we we've gone 16 straight weeks without hardly any positives at all we haven't shut any programs down in 16 weeks where others can't say the same so really they, they deserve all the credit and that's why we're able to get up there on the, on the fields and the courts Obviously, they can watch it on, on, on TV. You know, we have uh, Roadrunner TV that they can catch the games on. It's unfortunate. Uh, really, for anything else, I mean, yes, we, we, you know, it's unfortunate for the fans and people that want to come and support, but it's really unfortunate for the players and the, and the coaches. You know, they're used to having that, that loud uh, group out there, even if it's against them. You know, it's that noise. And so it's, it's a shame they don't have it. But I got to tell you, they've done a great job. They, they've adapted to it. Uh, now, the last few games we've had here we only had one side of the bleachers open so this first time I've seen with both bleachers open but yeah this is just the world we live in right now and I think everybody's adapted but I also think everybody's hungry I think everybody wants to be able to have an opportunity to come see them play and so when they, I think once we get through this it's going to be greater than, than ever. The word was being flexible. You need to understand something. First of all, you know we're gonna have every sport going on this this uh, spring. We don't have enough uh, trainers, you know, so to keep that and, and facilities and things like that to balance all that. So you know we're trying to get them to be flexible, be understanding. Um, I, I kind of compared it. I told the uh, baseball and softball coaches, you know, you're used to this because you've had weather issues. You know, you canceled or, or postponed because of weather. Well, this is COVID weather. You know, so so everybody needs to wrap their heads around it. I even asked the baseball and, and softball coaches to to talk to the rest of the coaches that are dealing with this that are not used to it, volleyball, especially volleyball, men and women's basketball. So, you know, just adapting. But I think it, most importantly, I think if they keep being honest with their kids, which they have been, about this is the world we live in right now. This is our life for now. So adapt to it. But guess what we get to do? We get to play. We get to be on those courts. We get, we get to be in action. We get to play against other people. We get to have com competition. So when you have all that, that's OK. I watched the NBA go after it this summer, and there was no fans. And actually, I thought it was the best basketball I've seen in the NBA forever because they played so hard, and they played against that guy in front of them, and not for that person in the stands. So you know, I, I, they can't wait till they get back. We can't wait to have them back. But I, I think they're going to adapt and do fine for this year and expecting better things for next. Well, you know, there's been so many things happen to us, uh, especially budget-wise. Um, you know, it, when you talk about the budgets being being slashed, really, you know, and not, not for any other reason because of COVID. You know, it hurt the enrollment. It hurt a lot of different things. So we have to adapt to that. It hurt our operations especially. Uh, you know, when you start talking about going out and trying to raise money during this time, you know, well, people are kind of holding on a little bit. But, they, but you do have those, those donors that are consistent with their giving. And so, you know, they've been stepping up, you know, we're looking at new sponsorships and these types of things, but, you know, anybody that can, would love to, to, to be a part of this and try to help our kids get to where they need to be, uh, they deserve to have the best uh, opportunity to have the best game day experience that they possibly can have. So all those things are very, very important right now. Uh, we're all trying to adapt. We're all trying to deal with it. But, uh, you know, when, when you have a summer that basically was shut down, so that took away all their camps, all their clinics, all their, all their rentals on facilities. You know, any kind of revenue ability to, to help their programs was taken away. And so you know, anything that anyone would like to do to help, we have the Red and Blue Fund. Uh, there's other ways you can, you can uh, give to individual uh, teams if you'd like to. Uh, but I know this one, anything you do would be very much appreciated. And we, again, it's trying to build toward that future, trying to get through. I told everybody that bottom line is, is, is we get through this, but if we don't go back too far, then we're going to be on top. You know, and the idea is this, you know, we're planning on doing some great things on and off the floor and we need that. We need to get through this at time, but we don't need to go too far backward. 
I think you need to teach your student athletes or young people that are under your care how to serve their community. That's the first thing. You know, one of these days they're going to get jobs, they're going to go buy a house, they're going to live somewhere, and they need to know how important it is that they are part of that community. So that's the first thing, it's lesson learned. You know, so we, we're doing that for that reason. The other thing is, is that we, especially now, during this COVID situation, we need to serve our community. We need to be a part of the city of Denver. We need to be the front porch of MSU Denver. And so they have just gone out there without any issues. I asked a lot of them. You know, I, I said, we are going to do more than you've ever seen. Matter of fact, we've done more hours than most people have done in a year, and we did it in about three and a half months. And so I, I can't be more proud of them and to continue to do that, to continue to serve our community. But I think people are understanding that, that we are here, that MSU Denver, and especially the athletic department, are here to serve, to help you out the best that you can. The award, we got, we're up for the award of excellence uh, that we won, the RMAC one, and now we're up for the national. And it was only just one area, it was for food for thought. Not counting Precious Child and everything else that we're involved with, the reading program with the Denver Public uh, uh, Library System. It's not even counting that stuff. I mean, you start getting really deep into everything we've done in the over 1,200 hours of community service, not part of the conversation, but just food for thought one is the, ex the excellence award. So yeah, it, it's important, it's important for people to see that, that we're here not just to, to win games or not just to put our hands out and ask for things. We're here to serve these people, and we want to say thank you for everything you've done for us, and we're here to, to, to do everything we can to help you. Well, number one, be flexible. You know, be you know, be understanding. Be you know, understand the world we live in at this moment. I know it's frustrating. I know you sit there and spend an entire week practicing. I know you got ready for a game. It could be even game day. You know, matter of fact, I've told them you could be on the, the bus and we could pull you off because something happened with the test. The results didn't come in. Somebody tested positive on the other team or our team. Everything adjusts. So just you know, be flexible. Hang in there. But guess what happens? You will get to play. And when you do, you take all that energy all that frustration energy, and you throw it into that game and give it all you got. But the, the bottom line is, is we're going to get through this semester. We're going to get through this COVID, and then we're going to pick it back up next semester, and we're going to be better for it. I think we've had lots of life, life lessons involved with this. Learn from what you have. Learn what we went through, and let's move forward.